My mommy always told me, if you didn't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Comment on that. They'll just comment on how bad your audio is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not so bad. Your audio. Like this might have made it worse. <laughs> that's not gonna work. <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> Tell us what you just did, Trish. Uh, I made a boo boo. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it fit? Because uh, I had it upside down. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> it's much better. <laughs> Do I think Christian is qualified to build a wine rack? I think he's qualified, I just don't think he knows what wine is. Christian told me he only drinks cider. Like, Should be able to do it, hopefully. If he doesn't, um, I'll have to just get rid of him. Is he qualified? No, he's not qualified. Christian told me he was gonna do a wine rack. I thought, what the hell? Like, that guy doesn't know wine. He doesn't even know cider. I think he drinks Strongbow. Who drinks Strongbow? Is he qualified to make a wine rack, and has he ever made one before? I would lean towards no. Construction skills are pretty good. I mean, he builds buses, but wine racks, that's a totally different skill set. You gotta know which side is up, which side is down. Yeah, the bottles were falling through. Like, yeah, just a terrible job altogether. You know, I just don't know why anyone would get somebody who doesn't drink wine to make a wine rack. Do I think Christian is qualified? I'm concerned. Christian is an excellent carpenter. Just don't think he's a professional wine rack maker. Well, how did Christian answer that? He, think, he thinks he is qualified? Hmm. So to build a wine rack, you must have to know a lot about wine. What's your experience with wine? Uh, it comes in a box. A lot of the guys don't think you're qualified in the wine field. What do you have to say about that? Why? Confirmation side. Does a chicken lay an egg? So I've been tasked with building a wine rack. First, you have to design it. You have to design it around your model subject. You gotta follow its beautiful curves and study it and decide how that wine rack should sit. They say that the wine bottle should tip forward slightly so that the cork is wet. You always want a wet cork. So what I did was I designed it so that the bottle just slips in, just slips in just like that and drops down nice and tight so it just can't can't fall out. That was the goal. I was successful. 